is the first lady here on the Basketball Diary. Uh, but she's from Tennessee and I'm from Yukon and it's we, a rivalry. It's you know, we, we You see all this space in between us? Yeah, there's like friction, friction yeah, right now. Negativity. Uh, so we'll we'll be cordial and we'll be frenemies today yes. for the for this. Off camera will be different. Okay. <laughs> um, so I have Sierra Burdick. Yes. Senior to be at University of Tennessee. And uh, how are you? I'm doing great, you know, living this New York life, trying to blend in with you all. Um, but no, it's, it's been a, a great summer, for sure. Now, you've been here in New York for pretty much the summer. I know you got yeah. some other trips that was happening. And uh, tell me about what you've been doing here. Um, well, basically, I've been an intern at Good Morning America. Um, I'm Robin Roberts' intern, so I've been working on Team Robin. Um, and it's just been, Hashtag Team yeah, Robin. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag Team Robin. Um, go give her a follow on, on Twitter and Instagram. We're trying to get her followers up. Um, but, no, just been working with that. Um, been in, surrounded by a great, great group of people at work. Um, my fellow interns are awesome. Just a, a very bright bunch of people. Um, and then outside of work, just been just been working out, training hard um, here in the city with Pro Hoops. Um, they're a great basketball family. Got a lot of knowledge in that that unit. So if I'm not at work or working out, you know, I'm either sleeping or eating. That's about it. Sleeping or eating. That's it. That's it. I was asking you prior to this, did you go out and see anything outside of? GMA and outside <laughs> of the gym. No, yeah. I, I, I wish I could have done some touristy things. Um, uh, Tim and I, my trainer, we actually were going to do some this past weekend and we were just both so exhausted. We went to the gym and then ate and that was it. So uh, my family got up and they got to do some touristy things. So I'm living vicariously through them. They went and saw the Statue of Liberty. And I did go to Coney Island. So that's like my one touristy thing that I did take part in. But other than that, man, if it's either GMA or the gym. <laughs> How was the experience over there? At Coney Island? Uh, GMA. Oh, at GMA. Um, you got only a few days left. Yeah, yeah, a couple days left. It's bittersweet. Um, it, it's been a, a phenomenal learning experience. Um, anytime you're you're around somebody like Robin Roberts every single day, you know, that's, it's, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to work under her and just learn from her and see how she does things. Um, you know, she's a, she's a great host, she's a great anchor, but she's even a greater person. And I, I think that's why I admire her so much um, and, and just all that she stands for. And she's like a, a walking inspiration and just to be a part of that every single day, it was, it's been uh, so much fun. And your major is communications. Yeah. So yeah. this is like a really hands-on experience. It of, uh, definitely is. Give me my coffee at Exa 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a resume builder. Um, learning a lot. Um, definitely going to help me down the line once I once I do stop playing. Um, and I I have gotten a little taste of the the 4 a.m. action. So yeah. hopefully it won't be too much of a too much of a, a total shock when I do get into the business. Okay. Uh, so that's that, and then you come, you go back to Knoxville pretty soon. Yeah, in a few weeks. Like August, yeah, August seventeenth, I'll be back on campus. We got to report back by like four p.m. or something. So, I'm I'm excited to see my teammates, man. I'm, I miss them so much. I really do. Every day, I, I'm I'm texting one of them, or if not all of them. And um, this two this two months apart has has been. You know, it, it's been different. I'm, I'm used to having my teammates around me every single day, so I'm, I'm ready to get back. I miss them, um, and I'm excited to see what we're going to do this season. What are you looking forward to? What, as far next as being in Knoxville? Oh, for yeah, this next, upcoming season? Yeah, it's last year. It's oh, man. The just, final lap, the baton's coming into the stadium. I know. The it's finish a home stretch, right? right? Home stretch. Uh, I guess I'm just most looking forward to to seeing how much we grow and, and how well we do. I think we've got tons of talent. Um, I think our, our coaching staff has done a great job of, of getting the right players in the right spots. And, um, you know, I'm feeling really confident about this year. And I, I think I have a sense of urgency, obviously, since it's my last year. And I know we've got some, some great leadership um, coming from all classes, not just the senior class. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, the run that we can make in March. How many returning starters? Um, oh gosh, let's see. You're one, you're one of them. Myself, um, our center, Isabel Harrison is returning. Um, Ariel Massengale, who is also the, the third senior, um, was our point guard. Um, she started, so she went out 
with an injury. And then Andrea Carter, who, who filled those big shoes, did a phenomenal job. She's returning as well. Um, and then we've got Bashara Graves, our forward returning. I mean, we've got basically all, we, we lost one. So we've got everybody returning but one. And, you know, we've got some great freshman talent coming in. And people just keep growing. I, I, you know, they've been grinding this summer. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the improvement that they've made. Does Coach Summit still come by? Building. She does. She does. She's at every single home game. Um, she tries to show her face as much as she can, um, and we love seeing her, man. It, it just brightens up our day when we're able to see Pat, and uh, she's doing well. Um, I actually just got a text uh, from from a friend from Knoxville saying um, that Pat was doing some some swimming uh, sprints yesterday. So really, that's always good to hear, man. She was she was killing the swim sprints apparently. So um, that was great news, music to my ears. In, during the summer, also, while you were doing the GMA, uh, you went to Colorado. You went over. You went yeah. to overseas as well. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, playing USA basketball on the three-on-three world championship, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we went, did training camp in Colorado. Um, it was myself, Tiffany Mitchell, who plays at South Carolina, Sarah Hammond, who plays at Louisville, and Jewel Lloyd who plays at Notre Dame, and uh, the four of us competed, won the national tournament um, in Colorado, and then were chosen to represent the USA um, and the world championships in Russia, Moscow. Right. Um, and so we were over there for a week, competed, um, worked hard, was, were able to bring home the gold, um, and then I came back to New York. So it's been, a, it's been a summer full of just excitement, tons of accomplishments, um, obviously great, honored to be able to wear USA across your chest and win gold. Um, so I had a great time with those those girls, man. It, it was a fun experience. How was is, how is Russia? You know, Russia was... Uh, you, you, you have <laughs> reservations. You have reservations. You're like... You know, you know, I'm trying, I, I realize I'm on camera and I don't know whether to give the true uh, answer or the political answer. Well, give answer. it a humorous spin, but in a positive way. Okay, um, you know, Russia, they're, they're about their business, man. They They... Um, they're not the friendliest. They're not the friendliest bunch, but they're, uh, they're determined to um, do what they got to do to be successful. Um, and the tournament was great. FIBA did an awesome job of uh, the entire thing. Was just everything ran smoothly, I and mean, it was a great tournament. So I can say that that was fun, um, and that FIBA did an outstanding job with that. Wow. Now, when you finish. Your, your, your senior year. Uh, obviously, I'm not on the women's side as much as on the men's side. Uh, most, a good amount of them will go pro. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's part of your aspiration to go pro. Yeah, definitely. And uh, there's two sides. You go over to play WNBA, USA, or you go overseas. And there's a huge difference in the pay scale, whereas a lot of them go overseas. Are you going to try to do both? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely love to get drafted, um, play here in the States, play for the WNBA, and then um, thankfully the seasons are offset. So here you play in the summer, and then during the fall and winter you go overseas to whatever country um, you decide to play in, and, and you make actually more money over there. So um, unfortunately we don't make enough money here in the States to be able to live off that salary during the rest of the year right exactly so five months we're playing here and then like you know six to eight months you're overseas um, playing in playing in your particular country how about some of your older your previous teammates mm -hmm. that you know since you've been around at Tennessee for three seasons already where have they gone to so you've got Glory Johnson who's an all-star um, has had a phenomenal WNBA career so far it's her second year um, she's playing for the Tulsa Shock. She goes and she's in Russia. Um, Candace Parker's in Russia. I didn't have the fortunate opportunity to play with Candace, but she's in yeah. Russia. Um, then you've got Shakina Strickland. Shakina Strickland. Oh my God, these UConn fans. Oh, that's a UConn? Yeah. All right. She went to Tennessee. Oh my God, the balls. Yeah, Lady Balls, Lady Balls. Okay, all right. Um, wow, that was a. Uh, how Where did she case, spot you? I don't, <laughs> yeah, Brianna Stewart. I played with her. 6'10", great player. Um, that was random. Very yeah, random. <laughs> yeah, what, crazy people in Central Park. Um, no, what was I saying? Um, uh, so your teammates overseas, oh, yeah, yeah, Candace yeah. Parker, she's yeah, in Russia. Russia. Um, then you've got uh, Shakina Strickland, plays for Seattle Storm. I don't even know where she she ended up going. 
Um, but they're all over, man. From Turkey to Germany to Russia to China, it's all over, all over the globe. Where? Tell me two countries you would like to go to to play uh, for. Man, France. Based upon reviews of previous teammates, word of mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Germany um, is typically fairly good with paying the players so because it's backed by the government so that would be nice to get my money on time um, but France and Spain obviously two beautiful places I've uh, played in both um, with USA basketball so I wouldn't mind going back there I loved both of their places um, Russia is as far as paycheck wise probably one of the best okay don't know if I want to go play there um, not yet N not yet. maybe next year you'll have a change <laughs> of heart yeah maybe maybe um, but the salary of course uh, would be nice yeah. in Russia. So I don't know. We'll see what what the uh, big guy upstairs has in store for me. <laughs> I didn't. I'm looking at your schedule. I didn't see too much of the complete schedule. Maybe you already have the internal schedule. Is there any big games that are coming up for this year? Yeah. Um, so every every year we play Notre Dame. That's always huge. Um, we'll go to their place this year. They came to us last year. Um, Stanford Shoes. That's right before Christmas. That's usually our last game before Christmas break. Um, and we went out there last year, so they'll come home to us. Um, I'm looking forward to playing Rutgers this year since I've made a, a whole new family here in New York. So they're going to come and see me play. Robin will be there, all my work people, um, my basketball family that I've, that I've been training with here will come see that game. So that's huge for me. Um, Chapel Hill is always some good competition. So in any SEC game, every single night we're competing in the SEC. We really are. It's a tough conference, and you've got to bring your A game every day. So. Anytime it's an SEC game, and it's tough. Lee, trying to conclude this, for all the girls who are coming up, you know, high school, AAU, trying to get into a big program yeah. like Tennessee, or not even just getting into Tennessee, just getting into mid-majors or low ones, uh, what's the process like for you? What do you think they should be doing? What, you know, um, what do you recommend? Certain things that our golden nuggets. Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, the biggest advice I can give is just continue to work. You know, I think where I'm at uh, wasn't necessarily because of natural talent. You know, I wasn't always, I mean, I wasn't ever the fastest, I wasn't ever the strongest, but I'm determined to be the hardest worker in the gym at all times. And I, if that means I'm in the gym seven days a week for three, four hours a day, I don't have a problem doing it because it's just the price I'm willing to pay to turn these dreams into a reality. So uh, first and foremost, you just got to grind. I, I think that's that's the term that I use day in and day out. And uh, just continual improvement, striving for that, striving to get better every single day. And you know, once you do that, once you commit to that, everything else falls into place. And your freshman year experience, when you came in, you are probably really, really good in high school. Mm -hmm. but, just a little bit of that difference. What is that like? It's a huge transition, a huge transition. and. Um, it's something that women's basketball players have to make often because in high school, you know, we're, we're, we're killing. It, yeah. it comes easy to us. Like in high school, I was like averaging like 25 points, 15 boards, like eight, eight, eight assists. Like it was, my numbers were crazy. And then you go to high school, I mean, excuse me, you go to college and you're having to be a part of this team where everybody's great. Everybody was killing in high school. So it's all about finding your place in the system with your team and um, some sometimes it takes longer than others some people come in and play right away um, I had to work for my time I was playing behind Shakina Strickland number two in the WNBA draft two three years ago so um, I mean it's a process and you just got to trust the process and once you finish basketball you're trying to do a little getting in the field yeah, of communication trying to do what you're doing I'm, I'm taking not notes doing right nothing now. I'm just a hack <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not doing nothing I got no skills I'm taking notes right now no, I would love to get into sports journalism and, and do some sports broadcasting as long as I'm staying around the game. You know, I love this game. I love sports in general. So um, I know Robin Roberts said she never worked a day when she was with ESPN. And I hope I can say that same thing one day. Boy, I wish I could say that. If I went to you guys, <laughs> I never worked a day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're going to try to get into that? Yeah, get into that. And, um, play as long as I can, though. You know, while my body's still with me, I'm a try to play, compete. Um, you know, I love this game, like I said, so I'm trying to be around it as long as possible. And then when it's time for me to hang up the sneakers, I'll know and then uh, see, see what else uh, God has in store for me.
Sierra. It's been Thank a pleasure. Thank you. Yes. This is Sierra. What's your Twitter handle? C underscore Burdick11. Go give me a follow. Twitter, Instagram, whatever you like.